from the break. This is still Doreen Kemcha, Women in Business on Smart24 TV. We are always bringing you women that will inspire you, women that will get you out of your seat of comfort, women that will take you to another level. Dream big, find out how they were mentored, and pick a leaf and do your own thing. Be unique and do your own thing. Today we have Rachel. We're still talking to Rachel Luanga who is within the trucking business. She's actually a driver for NMS, has been driving trucks, started off with buses, small cars, then buses. Now she is driving huge, huge, huge trucks. So she's telling us her story. Rachel, we were talking about it and I was telling these guys, you people, be careful. I may actually, I may actually join the trucking. <laughs> I may join the trucking business very soon because I think there's something the trucking business gives you, but it's that power, it's that, I mean, control. It is that, you know, I can do this. But I was also talking to another woman some time back and she said the same thing. And this is why we always urge women, get out of your comfort zone and do something. Do anything that you feel you are passionate about. Don't just copy and paste, you know? Even if you copy and paste, find out is it working for you because there is something about empowerment, being able to pursue something and do something that you love that makes you feel so powerful and so good. So do, whether it is making daddies, making crisps, um, cooking, catering, whether it's doing those designs, those fashion designs, whether it's teaching children, starting up a school, whether it is tracking, do something, ladies that are out there, because it's empowering and the feeling is different. Rachel. Yes. Have you been bullied? Yeah. Have you been bullied? Yes, but I don't mind it. You know, I mostly I turn a deaf ear to myself. What, what were they? How was the, the, the instance? How um, was it? Someone drives like mostly the Kenyans, the way they are rough on the road and yes. the Sudanese. Mm. So when they are driving, there is a way, when they get to notice that it, it is, is a, a woman. Eh? Ah. Hey, it is like some something comes so up in, in them. So in my mind, you know, yeah. I don't like being uh, emotional. Uh, not really road. emotional, but I don't like being bullied. Let me mm, call it mm, that. Mm. And again, I don't accept defeat. No, 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 no. That is where I'm in big things. <laughs> yes, yes. So when when those guys notice that you're a woman, uh, there is a way they want to. Maybe to step on or, you, you know, step on you or something. Yeah. So in my mind, I pretend that I'm not seeing you. Mm. You get. So mm. there is an incident yesterday. I was coming from Pakwachi and uh, some guy like around Kafu. Mm. So I came in first. There is that roadblock. The way you go like yeah. this. So when I was curving like this and coming in, the way he came from the other side, trying to like come so fast. Yes. So in my mind, I was like. But had he seen you? He had, of course, you're a driver, your eyes are on the road. Mm. How ha, had, he, had he seen that you're a lady? No, no, or no, he is... hadn't noticed yes. that I am. Mm -hmm. So he came so fast. So me, I, I just stopped, I pulled my handbrake and waited. Mm. Now what Because else? the part is narrow. Yes. Yes. And one has, it's all, always one at a time. Yeah. So these security guys were like, you guy, why are you bullying? Why are you being yeah. so stubborn? Mm. Mm. She came in first, so that is when he noticed that, that is I'm a, lady. a woman. Yes. So me, I was just very calm. Yeah. So I told the guy, you know what? It's Let okay. me just act a fool. Mm. Yeah. I had to reverse. He passed, and in, I, I just saw him doing this. Uh, so I don't uh, know what ran into his mind. Yes. But in my mind, I was like, ah, it's okay. It's but okay. Uh, yeah. So you just, most cases, you just have to be down to earth. Mm. You just have to turn a deaf ear to certain things mm. and be focused. Because when you lose your temper from there, mm. it can mess you up even ahead. Mm. Maybe you can, it can keep uh, ringing a bell in your mind and maybe you go off the road or hit someone or something. Yeah, yeah. But you have to be 100% focused mm. on the road. You're a woman. This is, this is, you're in this as a business, yes? Mm -hmm. It's supposed to, to, to make an earning for you. Mm. How do you go about the negotiations, the, the contracts and everything? Have you had moments whereby, let's say in the past, yes? Where they wanted to give you less money just because you're female? No, sometimes you find company policies. They've mm. set up 
mm. their their way of paying and their payments. Yeah. So there is no way you can, some sometimes there is no way you can negotiate in mm. a company or an, or an organization. Mm. You can only negotiate with a maybe a private truck or private car. Yeah. Yeah, but if it is a company and they are giving drivers this, that yes. is how you have to go about it. Yes. But in your mind you can t uh, terminate the, the contract. Yeah. You can refuse. Yes. There's somewhere I went for an interview and they had given me the contract, but in my mind it was not good for me, so I was like, no, mm -hmm. I'm not taking it. And that is it. That is it. Yeah. You must learn to advocate. You stand up for, for, for the monies that you need. Yeah, the and uh, mostly sometimes... Uh, there are things there are, there are, at times you don't look at money mm. there are times you have to look at uh, your the value your yes. value mm. how worth or how much are you worth mm. you get so and sometimes when you look at uh, benefits yeah. they are also you know they good. also add they also add up mm. sometimes the man, mostly in uh, in certain companies drivers earn little money yeah. Very little money, mm -hmm. salary. Then when you look at the benefits and per diem and whatever, mm -hmm. sometimes you're like, ah, this is okay. If yeah. I get this per diem, mm -hmm. it can top up the other side. And then you, know, mm -hmm. then you balance mm -hmm. it up and you're good to go. Yeah. But sometimes some areas, the per diem is just there and then maybe the salary is also there. Mm -hmm. Sometimes some people work just because they... Maybe they can earn something and waiting for a better opportunity. Rachel, you know why we're asking you this? Because one, your story is unique, mm -hmm. yes? Mm -hmm. But also because you are breaking into male-dominated spaces. Mm -hmm. Now, when women are breaking into male-dominated spaces, especially when we're encouraging women to come in and uh, start, get out of just the fem previous femininely viewed spaces, mm -hmm. that is the, the, the catering, that is, and we have nothing against catering. We're just saying that in historically women were are viewed as being in the kitchen mm -hmm. or domestic work or something. We're saying now women in business for your areas, look at look at trucking, look at the trucking business, start mm -hmm. up your own trucking places, mm -hmm. you know, spaces. Can you also get into the house movement place? Can you get into building? Can you get into providing electrical services? Can you get into providing plumbing? Mm -hmm. But even as you do that, we are looking at you, okay? Mm -hmm. You were mentored. Because you literally pursued mentorship. The first lady who was among the first ladies who were driving the Gaga bus, you pursued her, you bought a ticket for yourself and went to Arua yes. just so that you can see her. Likewise, we're telling the woman out there that who wants to get into a particular male-dominated space, first get the good mentorship and sometimes you're going to even have to invest in yourself. Mm. Another thing, when it comes to also negotiating for the fees, you're not going to lower your bar just because you are female. No, yes, yes, no. Yes. There are some women who lower them, you know, the bar just because someone has critiqued you and said, how am I sure that you will deliver? There is a part where, mm -hmm. you, where you go somewhere and you're interviewed and they're like asking you, okay, how much are you expecting? Yes. Don't, don't, ever, don't lower ever. yourself. Don't ever. Value yourself. Value. Yeah, you, Please you, look, at, yes, look yes. at them. Look you at, have to value yourself. Look at the lady the way, out there. Drivers, mm. eh, lady drivers, I am telling you we are the most careful, careful people. <laughs> most calm. Yeah. Most, like we drive in a professional way. Mm. That is why in most cases you, someone wants to, be, to buy a car. Lady driven, there. is it? It's yes. lady driven. Yes. But why are they saying that? Because, because we are careful. Mm, of the course, road. there are those ones who are rough. Yeah, we are, we are speaking for the majority. Exactly. Yes. So please, maintain that. Yeah? Value yourself. Mm. Value yourself. Yeah. Lady drivers. Yes. Value yourself. And, and you see, this value yourself, people who are watching, our dear viewers, valuing yourself does not mean that even when you start your business, you know, you're going to, you're going to, someone is going to come and say, but even this, I can make juice, mm -hmm. you know, I can make juice, just juice with juice. What is that? Even I can get it from home, but value yourself and know that, you know what, there is an effort, there's a skill, there is a passion that you're bringing in addition to your True. particular juice. Mm -hmm. Learn to value yourself and also sell. Don't just come in and say, you know what? Uh, don't you know me? Uh, don't you? If you don't want, just leave. No, you must learn to sell yourself mm. as well. Sell mm. the unique parts of yourself. Yes, How yes. do you get to sell yourself, Rachel? When you're in, when you are literally like you've been questioned on whether you can manage. How have you been selling yourself 
in these workspaces? Uh, mostly the experience mm -hmm. you have, mm -hmm. the discipline. The discipline. The way you brand yourself. Mm -hmm. Me, I'm branded. You might not see I'm a truck driver on my t-shirt. But people know but you. But I am known as a truck driver. Yeah. How am I branded? They, they see me on the road. Mm. And they see how I drive. Mm. If I am rough, everyone will be negative. Yeah. And they'll, ah, that one we don't want to know. You know? Mm. I'll be having, my, ever since I got my driving permit, I have never, mm. ever gotten a ticket. Never. 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 You always make sure you do the right thing. The right thing at the right time. Mm. And even if I make a mistake, because mm. you can't avoid them, of course. Mm. Something can come up and maybe you drive maybe roughly somewhere somehow of mm. course mm. it happens i will not say i'm completely perfect mm. no mm. but if uh the traffic officer gets you and stops you mm. be calm accept accept it be calm mm. be a hundred percent calm mm. don't just because yeah me i'm a truck driver so what what are you telling me no what about the, the, the women who normally and this has some have complained that female drivers normally want to add in other things when they are stopped by traffic. Right. Things like, <laughs> they, want, they want to pretend they are injured, that they are mm. very soft. No. Does that happen with, with truckers? No. They, they want special I have, treatment. I have ever been stopped. Yeah. And I did a mistake. Mm. But I was so calm. I had to jump out. And calm down, like, hey, oh. you know, me, I have a tendency, when an officer stops me, my eyes go straight to the name. Mm. So I call you by your name as if I know you. Yes. Hi, Doreen, how are you? How is your day? And mm. so you mm. like, hey, you break she the knows eyes. Me. Yes. She knows me, okay. So that is when the anger comes, comes down. down. Then you're like, oh, sorry, I made a mistake. So I'm going to give you a ticket. No, 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 madam, I'm sorry. I made a mistake. I yeah. accept my mistake, but next mm. time, don't worry. I'll be good. Yes. Okay, you go. And that is it. Oh, instead of being so hard so and rude, so you know, and wanting to say no, no as even if... they are mostly these ladies who drive those Porsche cars, like mm. big cars, like Land Cruisers. Mm. My dear, one day. Mm. <laughs> those ones, uh, um, hey, we, those we are ones. we are not blanketing. Not everyone is I... like that. But you've had challenges with those ones. What do you think, as women, we should be able to do, even as we branch out our particular, the way we handle ourselves? Mm -hmm. We're looking at the way we brand ourselves. Because now, the woman that gets to see you, yes, mm -hmm. you're not just an influence within your circles, but also you get to brand not only yourself, but also the following, the, the women that follow mm -hmm. after you. Mm -hmm. Should we be very keen especially when we get into places such as this, to make sure that we are on upright behavior yes. and the way we carry ourselves. Yes. You are a long distance traveling person, yes. woman, and in most cases, the long distance traveling you know, persons have been highlighted as more susceptible to HIV. It is well known because someone of the way asked, they conduct themselves. Someone asked me a question that uh, way back they used to say truckers have women on every, every stage they yes stop. yes what about you and what about you mm -hmm. so <laughs> do you have a man at every stage <laughs> no, no actually it is not what we think yes. i also used to think that way mm -hmm. but it is not what it is it is just the mind of the person mm -hmm. even if you're not a trucker you can have women everywhere mm -hmm. even if you're not a transporter you can have women everywhere. Yeah. Even if you're not what, you can have men at any time. Mm. Even if you are a, a, a housewife, you mm. can have a, a man at any, even a border guy, even Chutex guy, even, you know, mm. that mm. kind of thing. But it is not what we are thinking. Yeah. It's just the mind of the person. Mm. It's just maybe, maybe some, those drivers by then were doing the same thing. So, now mm. it's spread and it is, it is coming It's to now us. taken as a exactly. norm. Exactly. Which is not true. Mm. And what I know, or according to me, when I park somewhere, mostly I get stopovers like during day, maybe to rest a bit, stretch my legs, yeah. check on the truck. And unfortunately, me, I, I'm a shy person. Mm. I take long to come out of the truck when I you, park. When you park? Yes. yes. 
this. I make sure everyone's attention is taken away, so I come out, I check, check very fast, and I go back inside. Why? So you just <laughs> notice that the truck is moving mm. when you've not seen who is driving it, when you've not seen me come But you out. also have tracking places, the, the places where we normally see them when mm. we're en route, places mm. where you people do your stopovers, mm. and they normally encourage you actually to travel, because we've seen them travel together, and we've also seen them in most cases, uh, they have parking areas, gazetted yes. parking yes, yes. areas for truckers mm -hmm. do you also park there or no uh, according to us mm -hmm. we either park at the police Petros station yes or for NMS. at the district or the hospital for NMS. But, yes oh. but mostly the police station yes why because it you have the consignment safe and we have consignments mm. yes but now these others can park anywhere mm. of course there are some mascaries who can protect yeah. those trucks but, but for us, it is that. So you sleep inside your truck? Sometimes. It depends. Mm. Sometimes you might go somewhere, maybe in the, your, your per diem. You have your per diem, but mm. you there's no way. You, you want, maybe you want to save it mm. somewhere, somehow. Maybe you have nowhere to withdraw money from mobile money with yeah. uh, uh, agents. That has and happened? Yeah, it has happened. There are some areas you go, uh, mobile money is completely like scarce. Where? Eh? Like Terrego district, you oh, have to move from like from here, like over two kilometers to look for mobile money. Maybe you've reached late, mm. you forgot to withdraw from where you came from. Mm. Now you, you have, prefer to just uh, sleep in the truck. And sometimes it's even comfortable. Whereby, yeah, if you have bed bugs, eh? yes, yeah, <laughs> and uh, other things. Sometimes, mm. for example, one time. I slept in a guest house and someone came knocking in the wee hours of the night. Mm. I, I did, I'm, not, I'm not calling anyone, not, yes. no room service, no what. So she said, are you okay, son? Yeah, I'm fine. Do you need someone? No. <laughs> what? There? So are those are the things I Oh, I you fear. don't want, yes. Uh, yeah, and so I, mm. I'm safe in my truck. Oh. That is it, yes. Okay. Very safe. What are those particular challenges that you all go through, apart from the safety issue? Mm. What are those particular challenges that women truckers go through right now on the road and even off the road? Uh, on the road, uh, sometimes the bullying, mm. yeah, which is uh, not so much. Mm. But it's there. It is there, of course. You and have bullying on the road, you have bullying off the road, you have bullying in the offices. Yeah, offices yes. and whatever. But I don't, I, on my side, mm. I've not seen any challenge for women, like, you know. For thought, you per se? Yeah, mm. for me. Mm. I've not gotten any challenge. Yeah. Or sometimes maybe like, okay, for example, there's a time or you, you go, like, when you're in a, in a traffic, mm. yeah, and mm. some taxi guys are, hey, what? They say a lot of things, yes, eh? yes. even negative things. Mm. But me, I just turn a deaf ear. I always pretend I didn't. Eat. That is after knowing that you're a woman behind mm. the wheel. So I always pretend mm. I've not had anything. Mm. Yeah. But they're there, of course. What Everyone about... faces different challenges. Yes. So for me, not really. Not really. Mm. What do you think are the women that would be able to apply? for mm. this sort of program. Mm. Because there are those ones who say, you know what, I have seen a cross-section really. There are those ones who are basically, you know, married with children, yes? Mm. You have a child yourself, mm. a biggish girl. But they are saying, you know what, my husband is all on board for this. And we also know that some of the social issues behind the different professions that, are, that women engage in sometimes are determined by, by, determined by the different systems behind patriarchal systems, mm. yes, and culture issues and things mm. like that. Mm. So do you think, and this is why we need to ask, do you think that a married woman or a, a young, you know, single, single girl can actually manage being a tracker? You can manage. Why? How? Mm. Uh, let me look at married uh, people. Mm. You sit down and discuss with your husband, with mm. your spouse. Mm. You discuss yes. this, I am going to do such and such a job, and these are the benefits. benefits. And this is how I'm going to be moving. Mm. I know some of them are not comfortable because it's male it's a, yes. dominated. Yes. And they but also you're think, out on the road, anything can happen. Exactly. Mm. So it is just, you start with discussing with your partner. Mm. 
mm. as simple as that. Mm. You agree. Mm. For me, I, I am single, I mm. may say, and yeah. I do things my way. Because yes. you're single. Yes. What about what about the girl who has just finished? And because you have go getter girls these days yeah. that are finishing universities and they're really getting into different niches whereby they never thought at any one time they would actually do so. They're defying the odds. So what about that girl who wants to get into it? But then there are people who are telling her, "Ha, you get into this, you're going to become like a man. <laughs> people will not, people no. will not take you on. You know. No. Let me tell you by the way, you can even get better. People, better, better, oh, men, by, better by being that. because you are unique. Yes. Yes. You move places. Yeah. Yeah. And there, are, there are men who understand who are understanding that side. So yes. Yes. It is okay. Come in, mm. do your thing, be smart, be disciplined. Mm. You give yourself yourself time. Yeah. I'm doing this for this time, for mm. this period of time, maybe for two years or three, mm. and then get married and do other things. As yeah. simple as that. Yeah. Yeah. Now to the one. If you want to do it forever, discuss with your partner. If you want to do it forever. Mm. So I'm, I'm looking at you. You are sort of like a tomboy. Mm. Yes? Mm. A tomboy. Mm. And then there is a lady who, because remember, this is a male-dominated space. Okay? Mm. So there's a lady out there who is thinking, eh, will I manage? Ah, at least Rachel, Rachel can handle. She looks like a, a guy. You know, she looks like the type whom you cannot... If, if, you, if you tell her hi, she'll say yes, hi. If you, if you tell her you're, 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 you're a pussycat, she'll say yes, are you a pussycat also? You know, but me, I don't know how to fight with people on the road. What about the temperament, of, the temperament of someone? Does someone have to be so assertive, so vocal to no. actually manage? Be you. Be you. Be you. Won't they yourself. step on you as a trucker? No, just be you. Be yourself. Me, I am this. Mm. And I am comfortable. Mm. So when you're, you become you, or you, if you're you, yeah, you'll always be, you. be comfortable be you. in your you, on your being you. Yes. You get my point? Mm. Like, don't pretend. I, am, I, can't, I don't pretend. You don't pretend. I same. don't. So I can't. And where I'm, I do things where I am comfortable. Mm. You know? Mm. If I am comfortable in driving in trousers. That's what you do. Now this is a long distance. Why would you, you be know? in a skirt? And... You okay. have to be flexible. Yes. Yeah, sometimes you have to go down, check on the tires, be fast, do mm. this, do mm. that. Mm. Now again you start pulling skirts down. Yes. <laughs> you just have to be flexible. And that some, some with time, as you get into a, a particular profession or particular job, mm. you, you have to change certain things. Of course. Yes, you mm -hmm. have to change certain things. But it doesn't change you per se. Exactly. It is just the job. What are those things that you wish people out there, stakeholders, key stakeholders mm. within the transport industry would actually change to make lives for women, women truckers better? Those particular systems, the structural issues, the impediments that are there, that you wish, you know what, if you people changed, you big people change some of these things. I know that there's so many women who would come and join this profession with no fear. What are those particular things? Pay on time. That is very quick. Eh? Mm -hmm. That's very Fair quick. Yes. <laughs> that's, that, that's because let me tell top you, of even, the list. Even, if, even if it's a man, mm. at the end of the day, we are looking for money. Yeah. I need the money to run my family, to run my businesses, maybe, mm. to run other things. And then you, 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 you pay me like in three months. Three months? Yeah. Sometimes the arrears. There are some that do that. Mm. I, I'm not saying yeah, not everyone, all, yes. yes, where I have been. Mm. There is where I worked and I was not paid for one and a half years. But they what? could give you like 50,000, you know. This. No, one and a half years. I'm telling you, but I had to work because... You needed it. I needed like 20,000 they, they are giving me, they like are 50,000. As I look for... Somewhere else. Opportunity. Yes. Oh, one year and a half? One and a half years. Were you able to get that money back? Even up to now, we are pulling ropes. Don't you have a union or something like that, an association that can represent you? We are in court. You're still in court? Mm. Individually? Yeah, we are, or a you're a we are a group of people. Oh. Yeah. So this is, it is the, the, like the most important thing. Yes. Whether for men, whether for women. How do, you how do you think women who are getting into this can avoid, maybe, tell us some of those signs of, of those uh, particular companies so that 
we can stay away from them. <laughs> just tell us. I, I won't can, say. Can, no, just some. Just protect not, them. No, no, some signs. So that if at all they are getting there, maybe they can insist no, on a know, contract, they can the, insist. The, the moment they start telling you, you know, uh, we have gotten this much, but we shall give you. Now, when you, give, when you keep the areas for this month, mm. and then it keeps we, we get to another bigger. month, yeah. it becomes bigger, bigger and bigger. Mm. So at the end of the day, you will not manage to pay. Yes. Because it is huge. Too, yeah, it's too much. Yeah. Mm. And we shall pull ropes and, you know, yes. which is not good. So the moment you see, as a, as, as a woman, mm. really, as a woman mm. out there, that... The areas keep growing, the monies keep growing, that they are not giving you, that they life. owe you. Run for your life. Run for your life. Immediately run. Because they'll never I'm, pay you. Yeah, because they'll never, and again, there are those bosses that I'm like, ah, now you, mm. they want you to do certain things so that, you know. Yeah. Which is not right. Can I you be clear? I can't work. No, the bosses Sexual want like Sexual harassment, work. of course. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Even when uh, when when you're applying for a job, they someone want is like, okay, carpet interviews. Yes, which is wrong. Mm. Yeah. And I'm telling you, ladies or girls that are coming tell back them, tomorrow, tell them. please don't accept that. If you're seeing that there are signs that you're going there, tell we have lunch, mm. you can buy lunch for yourself, can't you? How do they normally start? If you start? can't come, I they start with lunch. lunch. Of course, lunch. <laughs> Passive, passive. Cup of tea. <laughs> yeah, if you don't it's, have the money to buy lunch, come I buy for you as simple as that. You know, it's by the way, I'm 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 so bitter on this part. Yes. Good enough I've not I've not gone through that. Mm. I thank God. Mm. I thank God. Yeah, but you've had but stories. I know there are girls that go through that. They are there. I and see. sometimes they can't say. Mm. And again when you do that interview, at it, the end of the day you they, will not work. Why? Because you'll be you, treated. Both of you know each other. Yeah. You know your things. Mm. You'll tell me, ah, you go and do this. Too. Like, ah, I'll do it at my own time. So there are yeah. fights at yeah. work. You yeah. will not work. Mm. If I am ready to fall in love with my boss, I quit my job. Keep it professional. I quit my job, go find a job somewhere so that we keep the relationship. Mm. Because we cannot work together. In, oh, that, oh, in that environment. You cannot direct me to do something because you will fear. Mm. And me, when I have something to do, yeah. I'll also do my, 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 I take my time. So. Yes. Rachel, Rachel, Rachel. <laughs> Rachel, you are, you, are, you are truly a trailblazer. Mm. Yes. And to those, just like that woman, the Gaga driver, yes, the mm. driver, that female driver of the Gaga bus, you are, all, the same way she blazed for you is the same way you are blazing the torch for other ladies, mm. okay, and other girls to come on board. I want you to just look straight into the camera and just say something small, something very small, for the lady outside there that thinks she can't make it, for the girl outside there that is watching and saying, wow, is this even possible? I just want you to say something. This is Ranga Rachel Passe. You can do it. Mm. Believe it or not. You can do it, and yes, we can. Together, come, let's do it. As simple as that. Happy Women's Day, everyone. Happy Women's Day. Defy, defy, open up all those different, you know, open up all those different mindsets, closed mindsets that you had, and get into these different spaces. Just don't put yourself in one small cocoon, because Rachel is doing it. Rachel is doing it. Female tracker. She's taken on the buses, she's now working for NMS and doing quite, and she is, this is her place, she's not going to leave this particular job. So wherever you are, women in business, please feel free to get into uncharted waters, feel free to pick a leaf from others, and if at all, by the way, if at all you need some confidence, we'll be able to get it for you. This has been Women in Business, Kem Chadorin. We hosted Rachel Luanga today, a female tracker with NMS driver, Yes, with NMS, yes. and we are pushing you on. Please, for all those, Rachel had said it in the first part of this episode, for all those who are interested, <laughs> who are interested in being mentored by Rachel and other partners, please get in touch, send us a message, send us a message on Smart24 TV social media so that we can know your interest. We shall be very quick to link you on. If you don't tell us that, 
there's nothing much we'll do. But if you are interested in actually joining the trucking business within Uganda, please let us know. We'll hook you up to Rachel here. Yes. Until next time, bye-bye, and see you next time. Thank <music> you.